Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of- Oh! I was trying to- I was trying to crouch because I was gonna go get that Murkrow, but then I forgot I was, uh, sitting on you. So it would cause you to sprint. Alright, so yeah, last time we made it over here. Um, it did tell me a distortion was forming. Where was that? Oh, it's down there. It's actually really close to the Bogbound camp, but since I've made my way- Oh, can I fast travel here? Oh, I can. Okay. Okay, well if we can fast travel over here, that makes this a lot easier, huh? So yeah, I think I will go down there to that. Um, question is... There's a thingy. Over there. How, how do you get thingy? I think I have to drop to it from above. L let's just go down here and check out this distortion first, why don't we? Assuming I can? It looks like there's a little gap between there that I can get through. I believe. I can also rest. Cool. Use a rest. This is gonna be my first time, uh, <coughs> using the, uh, distortions, actually. Or actually going to one. So, down here, and we curve around this, and there should be a little path through here. Right. Oops. So, yeah, it's, like, right through there. Um, I need to, like, get up here, and then... What is that? Oh. Oh, it's an unknown. Hey. Hi. Can I... Wow, okay, that, that is actually how you do it. <laughs> Weird. Okay, we got ourselves an unknown. How odd. <laughs> That's just how you catch them. And they're just chilling there. Ooh, so let me check my thingy now. Um, where was that? It was in the Pokédex, and then there's the unknown section. So did that reveal this letter in anything? Let's see, it looks like that. I don't even know what letter that is. I thought maybe it would translate it. But it doesn't seem like it does. Unless there's just not one of these letters in any of these, but I find that hard to believe. Yeah, I was thinking as we found them, I, I was thinking it would kind of work like the Albed, like, primers in Final Fantasy X. As you get more of them, it reveals more, like it translates more of this for you, so it's easier to read. But I guess it just expects me to know unknown. It kind of hurts my eyes trying to read it. Alright, well, whatever. Um, let's go this way. Because I want to hit up a space-time distortion. And see what we got in here. Hi. There's a Yanma. Hi. Level 28 Yanma. Okay, what other stuff is in here? There's a Parasect hanging out over there. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, I was I was very terrified for a second. I heard something behind me, and then I turned around and there's a Floatzel behind me. So I was like, wait, oh god. And then I realized it was my Floatzel. So we're good. We're fine. So, I was told there'd be like crazy items and stuff in here. But, uh, so far I'm just seeing like a bunch of Yanma and stuff. I also heard there would be rare Pokemon. But so far I'm not feeling that. I mean, there's a Parasect, I guess. That's kind of rare. I suppose. I should've used a Heavy Ball on you. Um... Oh, the Parasect got out. How unfortunate. So... yeah. Is this it? Huh. What was that over there? That's just a Geodude. Weird. Yeah, I expected, uh... I expected more. Huh. Okay, my cat is currently behind the TV. Screaming for no discernible reason. So you keep doing you, buddy. Have fun. Uh, get the ghastly. Alright. What was that noise? Heard like something crazy happening? Yeah, um, I really expected more from these. I thought I'd walk in and there'd be like crazy high level rare Pokemon and there'd be all kinds of crazy items and stuff, but. 
Yeah, honestly, not so much. <laughs> it's kind of whatever. Maybe I just got a bad one. A kind of disappointing one. Yeah, I thought it'd have, like, rare Pokemon and stuff, but it seems like it just has a bunch of stuff that I've already gotten before. Weird. Okay. Unless I'm doing something wrong. I don't think I am, though. Like, I don't know if you have to do something in particular to- oh, sorry. Here you go. I mean, they're slightly higher level, I guess? I guess. Uh, strong style. Uh, yeah, I think they're a little bit higher level. But that's kind of it. As far as I can tell. That's that's who I should put on the team. I should put a Yanma on the team. I wouldn't mind a Yanma. You seem like you're kind of strong, actually. How about we uh, give you a catch? Boom. Yeah, now I can go back and we can actually do the uh, the battle. I do love the little firework that it shoots out. Okay, I'm done with you, um, space-time rift thing. We're, uh, you were kind of, uh, disappointing, not gonna lie. Kind of disappointing. So we're fighting a Lilligant. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't be using, uh, uh, you anyway, Floatzel. So, we're good there. What's over here? Out of my way. Cricketots. Um, let's switch to... We're against a Lilligant. You wouldn't be the worst. Scyther would probably be the best, actually. Yeah, let's lead with Scyther. The Scyther double resists uh, Lilligant's things, unless Lilligant uses, like, a poison attack. But then I think you still resist it, because doesn't Bug resist poison? Alright, let's, uh... Let's do this. So you've come. Take it that means you're ready? Yeah. Time for another battle. Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you... Oh, I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Nah. All it took was one of my poultices to get Arazu's leg all patched up. Halaba, ma'am. I'm deeply sorry we've had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. Arazu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always starting about. Oh no. It's a dancer of the Boreal Valley. You want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. I don't think it's called the Dancer of the Boreal, Boreal Valley. I think it's just called the Dancer? I don't remember. Dark Souls 3 boss. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get, ti uh, get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. Will do. Time for another boss fight. wonder what you're going to be hitting me with. It's going to be kind of cool to see a, a Pokemon that fights by, like, dancing. There's a lot of, like, martial arts that lean into dancing, kind of, so it'll be interesting to see how your attacks kind of go. And how I'll have to dodge them, or if you're just going to, like, bullet seed me. Oh, whoa, you're a different Lilligant. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, because Cleavor was different. But Cleavor had a different name, specifically. You're still called Lilligant, you're just a different form. Weird. Okay, but you're like a ballerina, which is neat. But yeah, Cleavor actually had a different name. I'm surprised this Lilligant doesn't have a different name. When you press the Y button to dodge, you'll become invulnerable to t Pokemon attacks for a brief moment. Dodge with just the right timing to pass through incoming attacks without taking any damage. Yeah, we got iframes. Alright, so eat it, nerd. Uh-huh. Ooh, okay, you got, uh, you got ground pounds. Okay, good to know. Uh-huh. Nope. Nope. Uh, no, no, no throw a Pokeball. I don't know why I switched to those. We're good. Uh, I need to be closer to you. Uh-huh. Pelt. I'm just gonna stand really close to you because then I can do it faster. 
Oops, accidentally pressed the button again. Ooh, that was the wrong button. I pressed the dodge button for Dark Souls. Not, uh, not Pokemon. Send in the Pokemon to do battle. Oh, We gotta be really fast on that. Yeah. What is that? Oh, Shockwave. Gotcha. Uh-huh. Can I throw one? Nope. Yeah. Okay, what are you doing? Okay, this again. Okay, here comes the shockwave. Am I gonna beat you without ever sending out a single Pokemon? Just by dodging you and pelting you with these things? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. I, God, I keep pressing the wrong dodge button. Okay, we're doing it, though. Uh-huh. Whoop. I hate when I lose my lock-on, because I dodge into you. Whoop. Here we're still good. There we go. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I kept losing my lock-on with the dodges. <clears throat> Who needs to use Pokemon? I'll just, I'll just, I'll just do it my way, by dodging a lot. <laughs> and you guys all got XP anyway, even though I did all the work. Now, oh, you're so cute. Thank you for the meadow plate. Stun tablet imbued with the essence of plants. Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant, you saved Arozu as well. I appreciate it. First there's Saluna, now Lilligant. You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzied didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I'm sure she's happy to be back to her graceful self. Lily. Ye. Arozu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. Young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Selassian Ruins? All lives touch other lives to create something anew and alive. There's wisdom in those words. I imagine they're the teaching of Almighty Senno itself. Man, the, the tree vibrating in the background keeps distracting me. <laughs> of course, I'd completely forgotten about them until a certain someone, somebody helped me remember. We owe you one, ma'am. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arazu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokémon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I can hardly start yelling at you now after Calibur wrapped it all up so nicely. Just one more thing, Arazu. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. From now on, do it without keeping things from me, agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe to put in some training. If anything happens to Lilligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Let's work together from now on to keep the Myrland safe, Arazu. I'll be sure to inform Irida that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team helped save our Saluna. You did well, Quasi. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I'd be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Ottoman leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Something tells me helping you folks out will uh, help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for everything, Quasi. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligant for a while. So I'm imagining the Diamond Clan works, worships Di Dialga, and uh, the Pearl Clan worships Palkia is what I'm guessing here. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but kind of assuming that's probably the case. What happened, Lilligant? How did a ki uh, kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect. I hid things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Liddy. Lilligant's tall. Jeez. I mean, normal Lilligant's tall, too. Port to Commander Kamado. I have plump beans. Alright, so... Yeah, it's raining now. I don't really... 
think that causes any special Pokemon to appear. Have I finished you off yet, Krikatoon? I have not. You want to turn around for me, friend? Friend. Thank you. Bang. There we go. Cool. Hopefully that's another Krikatoon. Yeah, boy. Big XP, too. And, uh, luckily you have a... Huh. Ooh, I want a Roselia. I want Roselia. Gimme. Hey, you. Turn around. Turn around, I say. Come on. Nope. Okay, you want a battle? Do you want a battle? Because it says I can't catch you now. Because you notice me, I guess. Turn around, damn you. Uh... Maybe if I throw a ball of mud at you. Hiya! Yeah, eat it, nerd. Uh, now I can catch you. If I can get to my damn Pokeballs! Jeez! <laughs> There's so many items! <laughs> uh, ow! Damn it. Okay, well, uh, looks like we're just gonna have to beat you up. So the balls of mud do work how I expected them to work. At least. Um... I think Silverwind won't kill you. Yeah. Okay, Poison Resist Buck. I guess. Because that should have been super effective against you. So, uh... Can, can I catch you in a Heavy Ball? Even though this is really stupid. Can you, can you stay in it, please? I want to catch a Roselia, alright? Okay, fine. You want to be like that? Fine. Stuns for me, huh? Okay. Well, I'm gonna, like, decapitate you, so enjoy that. You don't want to get in my wall that wasn't really suited for the situation, then fine. Okay, so there's another Rose Raid over here. I want to leave a mark for that. Uh, Rose Raid. There we go. Alright, let's, uh, get out of here, I guess. I, do I, I don't think I really have enough stuff to make, uh, any more Pokeballs, so let's just go back over here. I could go over here and make some Pokeballs, um, or Great Balls, and then, uh, get back, I guess. You're a real wonder. Saw light disappearing into space-time rift, quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? We still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon, but you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in Hisui. I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Sure. Alright. Crafting station. I require great balls. 56 of them, in fact. Thank you. I still want to make you, but I can't get wood. Alright, uh... I guess we're done for the most part. Like I said, though, I do want to... I do want a Roselia, and we can't just go over here... ...like this and get it, right? So, yeah, let's just do this. We got great balls now. So I'm ready to catch some, uh, Roselia. Yeah, you guys are only around in the daytime, it seems. Turn back around, you big idiot. Oh, hey, there's one. Hiya! Got it? You should turn around now. There we go. Hiya! Got it? Just barely, I think. Okay. And I think I'm supposed to have been catching, uh, Roselia for, um... Some kind of, uh, mission that I have, right? Somebody wanted to see a Roselia, I believe. Oh, hi. Yeah, 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 I see you. You're quite large. Rose Raid. I do love you, though. You're very cool. I think you're also kind of speedy as well. Alright, what level are you? Level 50? I can probably pull that off, quite honestly. Let's just lead with, uh, Scyther. And get a back attack? Oh, that wasn't quite the back. Oh well. Roserade is filled uh, with wild might. Poison jab. That's probably death. That is death. Okay, well... <clears throat> let's, uh, send in Driplin, then. We have a few Pokemon that can kind of take you. 
You are level 50, so I'm a little bit intimidated, but lowering your offensive stats with Mystical Fire will be very, very useful. There we go. Poison Jab. Not very effective, nerd. I was poisoned, though. That's effective. Damn it. Heat Fire. Offensive stats are lowered again. Agile style. Venom Shock. Ooh, that's gonna be pain because I'm poisoned. And you got another one. Uh, Drift Limb? I think you're gonna go down, friend, but you're gonna help us beat this level 50 Rose Raid, so it's worth it. Uh huh. Goodbye. Yeah, Mystical Fire is really good. Uh, I think Dartrix can probably handle it now, right? Probably about time for you to evolve, isn't it? I'm not sure. Totally sure of the level you evolve. Strong style. This is going to be pain. Yep. I didn't think they were going to get an action that fast. Um, okay, most of you were fainted. Luxray? Might be able to do it with like some bites or something. Um, can you do like... Okay, we can, we can get off two bites. Let's do that. Bang. Slightly less powerful, but it's enough to kill. Ooh, and we got a crit. Okay. Oh, seed of Mastery? What? What is that? Seed of Mastery. Um, Rest seed that can be given to the Captain's Security Corps to have a Pokemon master a move so it can be used in the... Oh. Interesting. I mean, I don't super care about that, but uh, thank you anyway. Seems like my Pokemon Master moves pretty quickly. Hey up! Oh, that wasn't a back. Oh, it knows. Okay, put that down. How do you guys see me from so far away? Jeez, I didn't expect them to see me from that far. All right, whatever. We'll just uh, keep moving this way. Is that the giant combi? Or is that just... No, that's, I don't think that's an alpha combi. That's just a really big combi. God, why is it so big? It's very large. Turn around. Okay, fine. Get in the Pokeball. Ooh. Yeah, that's just a big combi. That thing is massive. Hello. It's a boy. God, where, where are the other ones? Where are the other combi? I need a lady combi. I mean, I'll catch another one of you because I haven't finished your research, but uh... What about this one? That's a boy too. Man! I'm having a really hard time finding one of those. Paris. Okay, let's just look at, uh, change focus. Okay, that one flew off immediately. Never mind. Oh, hey, Sudabudu. Forgot you're here. I could catch another one of you. If you turn around. You wanna do it for me? You wanna turn around? You wanna be a good fake tree? Come on, who's a good fake tree? Don't make me get the squirt bottle. Boom. Or was it a watering can? I thought it was a squirt bottle. Okay, well we got another Sudabudu. Uh-huh. What is that down there? Oh, that's just a pep-up plant. I thought it was a Pokemon, but it's just a pep-up plant. Nothing to see here. And... Stop turning, damn it. Here we go. Are you a lady combi? No. Jeez. Is there something special about catching a female combi that I'm forgetting about? I don't know, man. Or are they just, like, insanely rare? I guess it would make sense if they were insanely rare. I can catch some more Rhyhorn as well. Might do that, and then we'll probably leave this area. I don't think I've caught everything here by any means. Uh, hiya. Mm -hmm. mm. You heard me from far away. 
Do you see nothing? Good. Number of heavy specimens I've caught, two. Yeah, like I said, it's probably pretty easy to find a heavy Rhyhorn. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye. Although, I'm not really sure I'd be super into them, considering, uh... I don't know how I feel about slow Pokemon in this. Slow Pokemon seem to be even worse. In this in particular. But, whatever. Alright, so... I've explored most of this area. There is still that that I think I can, like, fall to, but... I haven't explored this. Mostly because I don't know how to get over there. Yeah, I think we're probably done with this area for now. So let's go ahead and go back to camp. And see what else we can do. I won't spend, like, all of my time just catching a billion of every single Pokemon to finish off every area before I leave it. Alright. Yeah, we have caught a lot of stuff. I made a bunch of money, although not as much as I would have liked. Cool. Seems you made some new observations. Most illuminating. Alright, we finished off Krikatoon. It uses its cutlass-like arms to produce sound, the melody of which varies from individual to individual. It is a worthwhile endeavor to seek out one's favorite tunes. Regularly bask in the sunlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, everything else is... whatever. Okay, we got enough to get to the next level. Splendiferous results! I dare say you've earned yourself a promotion! Swear to Captain Selin! What's this, you quelled Lady Lelegant? Smashing! Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. Sure. Cool. I am making the progress. Alright, I'm back. You got some potato mochi? Found her by the set of my mochi, did ya? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for uh, getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come to get dinner later. But first, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. <clears throat> I guess so. Oh yeah, by the way, the day I'm recording this is the day of the uh, new Nintendo Direct, so... <clears throat> That's happening in about three hours. So, I hope all of your dreams come true and every game you've ever wanted are announced. But also, I'm mostly looking forward to uh, Kirby and some uh, other things. I hope there's some uh, DLC or updates for the new Mario Party game. Mario Party Superstars, that would be nice. Oh yeah, I do need more Hippopotas for that quest. Rare wares. Special product. Smoke bomb. No. Sh shut up. I'm not a ninja. Go away. Alright, so... I guess I just want to go in and turn those in. Uh, I don't think there's any other quests that I wanted to take care of. Uh, Gather the Wisp, Prakashi Doll, and uh, Bitter Leaves. I'm the Pokemon with three leaves. Three leaves. I don't know what you mean. Completed Pokedex entry for Roselia, so I need the full... Gather information in Jubilee Village about medicine. Okay, let's do that one. Drink the Morel and remove all of the Pokemon. Yeah, and I have to do that. Grit Gravel. Okay, that's different. Um. Okay, so yeah, we got to go in here about the to learn about the Psyduck, which is coincidentally where I got to go for the main story. So yay. Hello. I don't think you're the one. There you are! You're the one, right? The one they've been talking about? The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands? My younger sister Wanda's in the Security Corps, you see, and she went to the Mirelands too, but she never made it back. You managed to track down that Arazu woman in this boggy Mirelands, right? So could you find my sister Wanda too? Where's Cosmo? Are you, have you lost Cosmo too? What's she smell like? Well, what? Yeah, have you ever sniffed your sister? Oh, oh, you mean searched by her scent? Well, maybe the kerchief she carries could be of some use. Ursula picked up Wanda's scent. Counting on you, please find Wanda wherever in the Mirelands she ended up. Gone astray in the Mirelands. Okay. That sounds like an interesting one, at least. Hello. Yeah, I need you. Hmm, you're after a medicine that can cure a Psyduck's headaches. Well, you came to the right person. Take this, it's a secret medicine that only those from my hometown know how to make. Secret medicine? I've had to get this before. 
Looking at you, Pokemon Silver, Gold, and Crystal. An astonishing medicine that can instantly restore health to any Pokemon. It's produced by an apothecary in Shanwood City. Ah, wow, it is actually... Wow, that's neat. It is actually the medicine from Pokemon Gold and Silver. That's neato. At least I'm pretty sure that's the town that you get the medicine from. As you'll see, it works wonders. Give it to any ailing Pokemon and it'll be right as rain. Even a Psyduck's headache will clear right up, I'm sure. This seems like a lot to waste on that. <gasps> Hello! You're adorable. It's good to look out for your own health, but make sure your Pokemon are fighting fit too. If not, you'll be in a world of trouble if wild Pokemon attacks. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and we got a new quest over here on the board. Watering with care. Okay, yep, we're gonna water the Sudowoodoo. There's a Sudowoodoo at the Bogbound camp that seems to be ra feeling rather poorly. Odo, one of the chaps in the village, is doing his best to treat it, but he could use a bit of help. Um, are you watering it? Is that the problem? I'm thinking the problem may be that you're watering the Sudowoodoo, and the Sudowoodoo hates that. You're basically using water gun on them and killing them. Alright, what's up? Rim of that herb. What do you need? That nostalgic and unmistakable fragrance. If only I could smell it again. Wonder if the herbs from my home region could be found here in Hisui as well. Well, you're part of the Survey Corps, right? Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. Heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please let me know if you manage to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines hanging off of it. Uh... Find the Pokemon covered as Does... Carnivine have blue vines? I don't think so, right? I know it has a couple of different colored vines. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's go up here and turn into Commodo first. So Commodo can be like, now here's your new objective. We are making our way through the game. We're doing it. So he successfully calmed the Lilligant. Excellent. You look like such a Yakuza boss. You look like if, like, I'm going to fight you in the future for some reason, like you want to test my metal or something, you're going to grab your jacket and throw it off. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokémon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves, free from war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time, then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. Do you have no connection to the lightning, is that right? You may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. Arazu's predicament. Completed! No rewards. You don't deserve any me. Alright. Why are your hands shaking? Are you good? Look at it, look at the platter! Hands are shaking. There you go, pipe and hot potato mochi, fresh from the stove. Thank you. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? Oh, I want miso soup again now. Sure, it's nice, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research, or with carving a life out here? Carving out a life here. Alright, have this flashy new recipe, Quasi, and I'll just scatter the, uh, these gloomy thoughts. Scatterbangs. Pop Pod and Caster Fern. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my boy. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. I... I'm gonna be honest with you, Leventon. I don't think that's gonna happen, considering I am not getting all the wisps. So, uh, my character's never going home. The next day. I imagine that completing the Pokedex isn't actually the the finished state for the game. Like we don't actually need to do that to quote unquote complete the game because yeah, there's a there's a lot of stuff to do there. Morning, sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Well, I'm still going to be a little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work, don't you worry. Well, cool. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. 
I'm pleased that you have found a worthy successor for, for your establishment, Edith. M Mr. Commodore, sir, er, sorry about that whole Ursuluna situation. If you are to work here in Jubilife Village, you are family to us. No matter who you are or where you're from, welcome, Arizu. Hey, you don't want to piss off the Yakuza boss. And you, Quasi, you will come with me. To Prelude Beach. Oh, am I gonna battle you now? Are you gonna do the cool throw off your jacket thing? Wait, what is happening? I'm actually confused. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. Whew, gotta sit up straight. Maintain my posture here and also adjust my mic because I've been recording for like two hours today. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokémon. We've also heard that the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokémon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilife Village grow. Indeed, you have heard, both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached our ears is largely thanks to Quasi here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of all of our team, through the combined efforts of all of our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. Yeah, I'm kind of a sick badass. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Neat. I would not feel safe in the Pokemon world, especially now that we've learned that Pokemon can be aggressive. I would not feel safe taking a little rowboat across an ocean, man. There's Gyarados, Huntail. There, there's all kinds of shit down there. No. No. Like, before I was always like, oh wow, in the Pokemon world, I would probably be fine in the water because nothing would hurt me. Not anymore. A Huntail? Who knows? A damn Sea King could kill me. That's terrifying. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> Uh, the advancement of our understanding of Pokémon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Quasi, you truly do love Pokémon, don't you? Not really. They kind of suck, to be honest. Have you heard of Digimon? Hmm, you have no love for them and still... <laughs> I never really played very many of the Digimon games, so I just thought that was funny. Have you heard of Monster Rancher, Bakugan? Mm, you have no love for them, and still you go out to learn more about them. You are a strange one to be sure, but if you do what is asked of you, then I care not. Wow, you actually don't care that I don't love Pokemon. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's imperative that we study and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. Excuse me, boss. Irida from the Pearl Clan's here. Good, I believe that I know what she's here about. As for you, Quasi, you should see for yourself how Jubilee Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps efforts. And you will come to my office. Okay. If I screw up, are you gonna make me lose a pinky finger? I don't know, you're kind of intimidating, I'm gonna be honest. Go to the Commander's office to learn about your next mission. Well, I think we are going to not do that. We are instead gonna follow up on some of these things. Uh, still mad about that. Uh, maybe I should just run around in my own time and try to find wood for the stupid Pokeshi doll. I'm also going to be angry that the eerie apparitions in the night is just going to be sitting there. Is this the quest that everybody's like, uh, the infamous quest? I don't know. Maybe it is. Mmm, Pokemon completed, deliver the- okay, we can do that. We can do that. All right, let's uh, go ahead and go to the front gate. Was there anything else I wanted to do here? I don't think so. Ooh, wait, that's new construction. I'm guessing because the new people have moved in. All right, all right, I know I, know I already point out this suspension of disbelief uh, thing once with the Drifloon, but how in the nine hells is a wooden fence gonna keep an onyx in? How? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Just just don't worry about it. That's the answer. So what is this? What is this new construction? Do you know? Oh, maybe I should talk to you. Mm. 
You? Yeah, you. Pokemon can sleep inside their balls. I guess that means they're more comfy than they look. Yeah, I've always wondered about that. Also, Kadabra could just fly over it. I mean, Silcoon's not going anywhere, but... The other ones, I'm not sure sure. So wait, what is this over here that it's giving me a marker for? Is this just... Check out the... Oh, you have a new quest for me. Probably expanding stock. Hello again, valued customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tao Hua is refusing to do business with me again. You won't listen to a word I say, so would you persuade him for me again? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring three pop pods as a token of goodwill. Perhaps after this, he'll actually accept me. Okay. Well, I want to go check out, um, hair. Hey there, in the mood for a style change? Yeah. Great, come on inside. Cool. Give me new hair. Grab yourself a seat. So what'll it be? Okay, so what do we got? Um, so if I select short, okay, yeah, that's an option. Long, survey court, shorn, middle part, side part, twin tails. Uh, I, I like twin tails when the tails are really long, but this particular type of hairstyle just makes you look like you're five, so no. I actually don't mind the curled. The curled kind of looks nice. And braids. Hmm. I kind of like the curled, actually. It looks pretty, but uh, I think I'm gonna stick with my survey core style for now. So, uh, you do have new colors, though. But I like black hair. Gold? Oh wait, no, those are my eyebrows. Shit. No, not eyebrows. Gold hair? Yeah. If we were going for like a Gonkara look, that wouldn't be bad. Oh, we actually have black hair now. Okay, cool. Instead of slate. Yeah. White hair. Crimson. Blue. Peach pink. Ew, that blue is way too, way too blue. I'm gonna go with black. I like black hair, okay? There we go. So at least I actually changed my hair this time. All you did was dye my hair. Why did you snip snip? There we go. And we're done here. Not a bad look. Thanks for coming. Was your hairstyle in that list? Shall I buy again anytime you're here? I'll keep polishing my skills. Yay, look at my new hair. I look cool. Alright, let's go ahead. and There's the pickling geodude. Alright, let's go. And outside the village, are we? Yep. Let's go to the Bogbound camp. So, we need to catch more Hippopotas, Roselia. Oh, stretch. Oh boy. Alright. Hippopotas, Roselia. There's a new quest over here. Alright. So you there, could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from the Myrlands camp when this Alpha Hippodon came after me. I got away, but I dropped a charm I was carrying. Now I can't find it, I've got to get it back. Found a charm laying in a swamp? Yeah. Alright, will do, friend. Will do. Alright, so... This is where... Yeah, this is where you guys hang out, I do believe. Gapejaw Bog. Isn't this where the, uh, Hippopotas are? Yes, this is. Cool. Alright, so I need to catch a male Hippopotas. What's the deal with these things? Oh, I can't actually attack them. Wow, okay, I didn't realize that was something I could actually, you know, get. Well, that thing you want is probably around here. Your charm. Hide behind the tree. Okay, there you go. Don't turn around, Hippopotas. Don't you do it. Okay, you're another lady. Go away, Geodude. Geodude, please. Geodude, please. Geodude, please. You are, like, by far the least dangerous thing in this entire area. Now go away. Okay? Yeah, dude. Okay, out of here. Alright, what level is this a Podon? Is that the charm? Oh, that's totally the charm, isn't it? Because you said you were being chased. What was with the little dodge? Why are you being weird, Hippodon? Just come over here. 
Come on. A little bit closer. Okay. Can I just... Uh... No. Uh... Shit. I'm just trying to see your level. Okay. Shit. I thought that's what this did, but this just tells me, uh... Uh, okay. Fine. You want to go? Let's go. I've beaten a level 50 before. You can't be much harder. Yeah, you're just level 46. Easy. <laughs> um... Let's see. If I do agile style, I don't get anything. So we should just do a power style aerial ace here. Yeah, sure. You're easier than the, uh... The Rose Raid that I fought, at least. Although you are tanky. Ooh, that was a crit? Iron Tail. And Double Edge. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, ooh, cool. You get damaged by recoil, though. Um, well, Float Soul's probably my best bet here. Dartrix, not a bad idea either. But you're fast, Float Soul, so we do have that going for us. Ooh, if I use Aqua Jet, then, uh,. What if I do Agile Style Water Pulse instead? Eat water! I know you're hanging out in water right now, so it is a bit weird that this hurts you so much, but eat water anyway. There we go. Out of here. Okay, and this is probably the charm, like I said. The shiny right here. They put it right beside the Hippodon, because of course they did. What? I just beat one! You wanna make me fight another one? How rude. What level are you? I could I guess I could have just ignored the alpha and just ran at you, but Okay, you're only level 34. You're much easier. Is this even one hit actually? Probably not. I put on her quite tanky. Mud bomb. Sorry, friend. I may not be flying right now, but I still am a flying type. Cool beans. Give me my stuff. Big level up. Move mastered. What level do you evolve? Is it 40? You sure are something. Take it on a big angry Hippodon like that. Yojiro. Wait, what's that lion over there? Oh, it's you. My charm. It's really you. Welcome back. Means a lot to me that you went toe-to-toe -to -toe with that Hippodon on my behalf. Better believe I won't be losing this charm again, not after what you... Or not after you went through all that trouble to get it back to me. Thank you. I like the detail of my leggings actually being muddy here. Okay, so I got Grit Gravel. What does that actually do? Yeah, I, I, I was having a hard time actually seeing the level of that Hippodon there. It was weird. Another one. Are, are, are male Hippopotas just rare? They must be, right? Okay, well we caught another one, so that's... good. What's all me? Caught quite a few without being spotted. Finally, there you are. Okay, I'm waiting for you to turn around, because I need to make sure I catch you. So... Get Inzabal. Okay, and that should be enough of you guys. I've caught five of them. That's probably your page done, right? In case it's not. No. I need to defeat some. Uh. Float Soul, get out there. We need to defeat one of these idiots. Their eyes are weird. I'm sorry. I said it. Even though you're in water, water is super effective against you. Eat it, nerd! Of course, I guess this water is also muddy, so, you know, it, it, it evens out. Alright, so I've gotten everything I need now. I could defeat another one of you guys. Come here, you. This will get me another bit of your uh, Pokédex done? Okay, never mind, just run away then. Wait, what? Isn't that usually where Unknown are? Or, no, that's that's where I found one last time, but that doesn't technically mean that's where they're always at. <laughs> I'm just crazy. I don't know. Seeing seeing that made me think. Oh, it ran away. Oh well. Did I ever finish off Grogunk? 
You hear nothing. Alright. Grub Gunk, did I finish you off? No, actually. Number of defeated with psychic type moves. Um, I could use Driftlin for that. There you go. Yeah, Driftlin can do this. So we have extra sensory. Boom, boom, boom. Eat it, nerd. Didn't extra sensory do, used to be like, even though it's a special move, it targets physical defense or something like that? I know there's a psychic move that does that. I just do not remember what it was. Alright, well, we're doing it. So, we finished that quest. I've got the Hippopotas that I need. Maybe we should hop on you now and see if we can find this person that we're supposed to find. It's supposed to be blue, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's just keep going this way. This way? Where is it? I- oh, it's a crow gunk. Okay, I was like, what is that? Yeah, this thing is a little weird sometimes. Like, I have a hard time actually figuring out where it wants me to go. Weird. So where's this blue thing? Oh, there it is. There we go. We've got it. We've got a reading. It's over this way. Uh, it's across the way over there. Unfortunately, can I cross? There is a crossing over here, apparently. Yeah, 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 there's a little bridge. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, Alpha, Alpha Yanma. Yeah, what, whatever. I'm not fighting you right now. When are we going to see a Whale Lord? That would be horrifying, given Whale Lord's size. As I saw in Pokemon Snap, that thing is ludicrously massive. I don't know how anything would ever even defeat it. Uh, it says we're close. Aha, there you go. Wait, is that you? Or do I need to get past the stupid rock? No, this is you, Wanda. Okay. A, a person, another real live human being. Oh, thank goodness. I was on my way back to the base camp and I got attacked by some wild Pokemon. I managed to get away from them, but I got completely lost when I was running, and I'm... Um, please, can you tell me how to get back home? That way? I see. Thank you so much. Cool. Wait, that's not the way. Oh no, you're Zoro. Or I mean this way. Right, of course, I knew you meant this direction. Oh god, you're Zoro. You're Zoro. Turn to Galaxy Hall and report to Zeke. Hi, Badoo. Have I finished? Yeah, I finished you off. Okay, so, and the other thing we need to do is catch more Roselia, right? Uh, I'm gonna mark this on the map. Pokeball. Alright, so, let's go up here and catch ourselves some more <clears throat> Roselia, why don't we? Alright, we're doing it to an it, we are. Boom. Another one of these things. Aha! Hi. You are what I require. What in the hell was that noise? Is that the Rose Raid? It's horrifying. I hate it. Uh huh. In the ball. Thank you. That has to just be you. Right? What do you want? What, you want to go? I mean, if you insist. Let's go then, nerd. Come on. Is that keeping his guard up? Yeah, yeah, you, you hit me and then run away. Jeez, what a weirdo. You could have just not fought me. Okay, we're almost done with research for you. What, what else do I have to do for you? Defeated with psychic type moves? I can do that. Let's do that, actually. I'll make this go a little bit faster. I'm always, like, catching a bunch of them to finish off the thing, but I can just also do it like this. Not really that bad. Bum, bum. Alright, so... We did that. 
That wasn't, uh, that didn't finish off your thing, right? I don't believe it did. So, you. Yeah, we're still level 8. So, if I defeat one more, and yeah, let's do this. And someone did mention to me that those up arrows beside the thing means that doing those will boost the research level more than normal. So, even more reason to do this. <clears throat> cool. Now you're probably done. Right? I suppose I never did uh, catch a good Roselia, though. So, um... Of course, I was also like, well, I already have a grass type with uh, Dartrix, so do I really need a Roselia? I don't know that I do. Okay, my Pachirisu is almost the same level as that stupid Ursarang that beat me up before. What was that noise? That's just Parasect? Wow, that thing's moving. Parasect is not that fast. I call bullshit. Parasect is very slow. <coughs> I always really liked Parasect, but, uh, it's unfortunately not very good. Its main thing is having Spore, and, uh, I mean, that's useful, but more Pokemon can learn Spore now, so it's not as useful as it once was. Carnivine. Yeah, you don't have Blue. You don't have a Blue Vine. Maybe the- maybe boy Carnivines have a Blue Vine? Maybe that's a thing? Oh. Huh. What's up here? Um... A Gudra. Isn't that a Gudra? No, that's a Licky Licky. Oh shit, I thought it was purple. That's a Licky Licky. People are like, Gudra, is this person okay? Uh, okay, well there's mushrooms here. Well, I wouldn't mind a Lickitung. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> I always liked you. Licky Licky's neat too, I guess. And it's your evolution, so... I kind of have to like it. I remember that was like the, uh, when Pokemon Go first came out, all my friends f flipped their shit because I had caught a Lickitung. And it was, uh, apparently really rare at the beginning. Um, can you stop turning around and just let me catch you? Please? No. With that. You know what? Fine. We'll fight you. How about that? You don't want to let me hit you in the back. Alright. Lickitung... Uh, eat some, uh, Mystical Fire. You guys are level 26, so I might actually be able to take that Licky Licky. It does not affect me, idiot. Alright, Great Ball. Half HP may not be enough, actually. I think you actually do need to take it down to damage state, like to yellow or red HP, for it to actually make it easier to catch. So, yeah. Alright. Oh, Zen Headbutt's gonna do a little bit better. <clears throat> than your previous attack. But, uh, Mystical Fire. Alright, now I should be able to catch you. Double Edge doesn't affect me, dork. Okay. And throw a Great Ball. Cool. Driplim's such a good Switch Pokemon because it's completely immune to multiple things. Makes it very, very nice for that. Alright, we called ourselves a Lickitung. Why is Lickitung hanging out up here? I don't know. Times I've seen it use Mystical Fire. A lot. Um, I wanted to check this, so... You can't... Uh, yeah, you can't evolve. What in the world, man? <gasps> Ralts! Oh, boy! I can get everyone's favorite waifu Pokemon. Uh-huh. Can you turn around? If we can find a Relu, I can get everyone's favorite Husbando Pokemon. Uh-huh. Bang! Into the ball. This is, a uh, Kirlia over here. Hi. People sure do love their Gardevoir. For a lot of reasons. Cool. In the ball, please. Stay in there. Thank you. Oh, hi, Ralts. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? Come on, I gotta catch you so Wally can have you. Huh. Weird location. So, what is this? Can I read this? 
Huh. Looks like it just shows, like, ancient hieroglyphs for, uh, Pokemon. What is that? That kind of looks like the, um, mysterious keystone. Is this where you have to go to turn them in? Investigate. Some kind of strange aura leaking out from the cracks. Are they really just cracks? Yeah, okay, so that must be what... Yeah, because that looks really similar to the... to the keystone. Alright. Well, the more you know. <clears throat> There's a bunch of these things up here, which I have not seen much. Kind of just want to loot a bunch of this stuff. See what we get. Yep. And... Come back. Hurry up, jeez. Collect stuff for me faster, Pokemon. Alright. Cool. So I think we're probably gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. We got a lot of stuff done. I'm pretty happy with it, so... I hope you have enjoyed, and... Eh... Eh... We can go over here and turn in this Psyduck quest before I forget. That was the whole reason we came out here. <clears throat> So, you found a cure for my Psyduck? Let's give it a shot. Yeah. Now they feel better. Wow, the Psyduck look all better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding this medicine for us. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team before, but if you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. What did you call that stuff again? Secret medicine. Gosh, the Galaxy team must be very talented. Maybe I'll visit you all in Jubilife sometime. There we go. We did it, and we got a max revive for it. Cool. Alright, so with that, we are going to go ahead and end this episode off here. So I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you then.